Folks, it's fair to say one of the most devastating words anyone can hear, and it's not hyperbole, is cancer. You walk into a doc's office with your child and or yourself, and you get a diagnosis of cancer. How many of you heard that when you walked in? It's frightening. As all of you know, cancer surgery is an incredibly challenging procedure. It takes the best surgeons in the world, and it takes its toll on families. The surgery happens, then you have to wait a week or more to see if the tumor was removed fully. That anxiety waiting and the unknown is just excruciating. But today, we're a step closer to relieving that burden on patients and families. Today, we're announcing $150 million ARPH funding for some of the nation's cutting-edge cancer research institutions. That includes right here at Tulane University. The funding we announced today will help us get these tools into the operating room to visualize tumors right away instead of having to wait for days and weeks to maybe reopen the patient to go back in. It's a promising step to reduce the need for follow-up surgeries and improve treatments. Outcomes are better all across, will be better all across the board. And we're moving quickly because we know all families touched by cancers are in a race against time. It's all part of our goal of our cancer moonshot to end cancer as we know it and even cure some cancers. We're mobilizing the whole of country effort to cut American cancer deaths in half by 2020 and within 25 years and boost support for patients and their families. I'm confident in our capacity to do that. I know we can, but it's not just personal. It's about what's possible. This is on top of the administration investing more than $25 billion. I've been able to get money, $25 billion, for the National Cancer Institute. <laughs> There's so much we're doing. It matters. It matters a lot. What matters most is not giving up hope. 